Hello, I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Speed Coding with Lincoln Central. This is your second amazing tutorial in the WinPython series. Today I'll begin by showing you how to assign values to variables and to multiple variables. And introduce you to the different types of variables and how one can be converted to another and vice versa. But first we need to take a closer look at Spider. We don't need all those windows that come up with the default screen. At this stage all we need is two windows, the program window or editor and the output window or console. From now on we will refer to them as editor and console windows. So just click on the X's on each window you don't want. You should now be left with the spider screen divided in two, like so. Editor to the left and console to the right. If you prefer these switched around, all you have to do is click and hold the left mouse button down over the console bar along the top of its window and move the window to the left. The other window will swap with it and move to the right. Oh, and if you want to increase the font size, go up to Tools, Preferences, Editor, and change the font size from 10 to 12. Then click on the Editor screen. Likewise, go to Tools, Preferences, Console, and do the same. So here we go. What is a variable? Well, in simple terms, it is a number or string of text that has the ability to change or be modified. Variables can be given a name or be just single letters. Look at these examples. Dog equals 8. Cat equals 5. X equals 11. A equals 121, P equals 3341.432, Goat equals to be or not to be in inverted commas, Z equals that is the question in inverted commas. The first thing to comment about all of these is that none are equalities. The equal sign does not mean equal to in Python. The job it has is to assign or give values, and these values can change. Look at this simple program. The variable y is set to 0. Is y less than 5? Otherwise, else is executed. New y takes the value of old y plus 1. In the first loop, y equals 0 plus 1 y is equal to 1. The new value of y is printed, line only triggered when y equals 5. OK, let's see the output when we run the program. So y increases in value by 1 on each loop until it reaches the value of 5, when the loop is stopped and the else statement is activated. It doesn't really matter if you didn't get all of that. A little taste of coding at this stage will do no harm. We will be examining the while else statements in much more detail at a later date. All I wanted to show you was that y is a variable. It started off with one value, 0, and after some processing, ended up having a completely different value, 5. There are three types of variables frequently used in Python. Two of these are number variables. The remaining one is called a, a string variable. The number variables are called integer and floating point. Simply, integer means a whole number, positive or negative. For example, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Floating point is essentially any number with a decimal point in it. 
A string variable is a line of characters in between quotation marks. You could have double quotation marks or single, provided you don't mix the two. For example, hello world, this is a string, characters, one, two, three, four, five. Note that last example, one, two, three, four, five. It is not a number variable. You can't do any number operations on it, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The only way this can happen is if you convert it to a number variable. And you can do this using two little functions, float to convert to floating point, and int to convert to integer. Check this out working in the console window. Type in x equals quotation mark 123.4567 quotation mark. Float x gives us 123.4567 without quotation marks. Now if the output from float x is a number variable, we should be able to do some math with it. Let's try to double it. 2 asterisk float bracket x close bracket gives 246.9134. Yes, no problem. Let's do the same for int float x. We should be able to double that as well. 2 asterisk int open bracket float bracket x close bracket close bracket. As expected, it doubles too. But look what happens when we try to multiply the original string variable, x, by 2. Remember, x equals 123.4567 in quotation marks. OK, here we go. 2 asterisk x equals 123.4567, 123.4567. Is happening here you might ask well the two strings have been stuck together or as we say concatenated two asterisk x is the same as x plus x so you have the characters 123.4567 plus 123.4567 in other words 123.4567123.4567 believe it or not this facility has its uses. You can use it to repeat a string for as long as you like. Say you had a string goodbye with If you put goodbye asterisk five, you get five goodbyes. As you might have guessed, if you can convert a string value to a number value, you can also convert a number value to a string value. This is really simple. We use the str brackets expression. So let's convert our number 123.4567 to a string 123.4567, but in quotation marks. We can convert the number integer to a string value too. So there you go. Since we know a lot more about number variables and string variables than we did, now would be a good time to introduce you to the multiple assignment of variables. You can assign a single value to any number of variables. This works by assigning each variable in turn to the value of the previous one. C equals B equals A equals 23. Essentially, A is assigned the value of 23, B is assigned the value of A, and C is assigned the value of B. There's also a shorthand method of assigning variables. You don't have to write each variable assignment individually on a separate line like dog equals 17, cat equals 125.91, fish equals my fishing rod. You can write just one statement, dog, comma, cat, comma, fish equals 17 comma 125.91 comma my fishing rod so if we now print dog comma cat comma fish we get 17 125.91 my fishing rod 
Well, it's time to put a lid on this tutorial now, but before I go, I just want to summarize what we've been doing. Integer number variable, a whole number, positive or negative. Floating point number variable, a decimal number. String variable, a bunch of characters surrounded by quotation marks. Float brackets, number string variable, converted to floating point number variable. Int brackets, floating point number variable to integer number variable. str brackets, floating point or number variable to string variable. Multiple assignment, assign a single value to any number of variables. Anyway, you can find all the programs and console text used in this video on the Lincoln Central website under the Tutorial Support tab www.lincolncentral.net forward slash tutorial underscore support forward slash. Did you know that you can copy and paste into the Spider Editor and Console windows? A really useful idea, don't you think? Hopefully this might save you some typing time and you can get to grips with the code that little bit faster. I've also included in these pages some bonus programs you might want to try and to play around with before your next tutorial. The very next tutorial in the Python for Windows series is all about arithmetic operators. We have already come across a few of these little guys and this tutorial will hopefully tick the box for the important ones. Anyway, thank you all for watching this tutorial. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest video. See you soon.